Hello Interwebs, welcome to Let's Fix Computers. Please excuse this rough as guts video. I'm just recording this just because I can basically. I think it might be useful information to some people. Um, so get this, if you're doing, uh, if you're installing old versions of macOS or uh, pretty much anything that's not modern at the moment, uh, you might be hitting this thing. Well, like in this case, this uh, iMac, I've just put an SSD in this and you go to install macOS, you hit install macOS and it says, bam, this copy of 1013 High Sierra is damaged and can't be used to install. So let's just try and zoom in, uh, camera angles, whatever. Yeah, it says it's damaged and it can't be used to install macOS. Um, so this has happened recently. What happened was uh, Apple were using um, the security certificate that Apple were using to sign their installers has expired and Apple has not updated it. So all the old versions of macOS, they're all completely broken now. And um, uh, as of recording of this video, Apple has, has not issued a fix for this. And at the moment, it looks like there's no intention of them issuing a fix because they're like, oh, you should be running Mojave or Catalina. So anyway, here's how you get around it. It's really simple. So firstly, hit OK to this. And what you want to do is go up to Utilities and Terminal. And can I make this super big? One moment. OK, so once you're in Terminal, what we need to do is we need to set the clock on the computer back. So make sure that the Wi-Fi in the top right of the screen uh, is turned off. Don't be connected to the internet while you're doing this. And we're going to set the clock back to before the security certificate expired. So firstly, just to show you how to make this simple, I'm going to just type in date and hit enter and it will tell me the current date. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to type in date help and that'll give me this format for how we issue a new date. And now I'm gonna put in date. So we're gonna go month, which is the first, the day, which is the 28th, the hour, which is 12, the minute, which is 20, and then uh, we don't need the, uh, the cap, the 20 bit, and then the year, which is at the moment it's 2020, but I'm gonna set this back to 2019. So I've put in first, uh, so I've put in January 28th, 20 past 12, the year 19, enter. And so now as you can see, I've put in the same date and time, but just 2019. And if you're looking at this in the far future, you might have to go further back. However, I think it's something like, as long as you're before October 2019 or something like that is what matters. So now we do exit and quit that. Uh, I just did command Q then, by the way, or you can do Google terminal, quit terminal. And now when I hit install macOS, Shazam, it now lets me install. So that's how you get around this. And if you're doing an inline update, so you're already in macOS and you're updating an existing copy of macOS, again, just go into system preferences and set your clock back by about a year. Make sure you're offline, otherwise it will automatically update the clock to the current year again. And then once you've done your install, set your clock correctly and you're done. That's it. Thanks for watching, everyone. I'll see you next time. Bye for now.